This devil's hand, I got my revenge. Yours truly, Blue Water Man. <laughs> I was going to do this job myself, but I won't set foot in Blue Water Marsh. Things live there as should have died. Died there as should have lived. Whispering. Watching. Well, I bet you ain't afraid. Cause you're a fool. There's a man. Blue Water John. Used to run with a gang till the marsh got in his soul. Well, his old gang owes a debt to the Italian. Stole some of his precious Captain Tele, too. They gone to ground. Start with John. Get to them. Hope you're feeling brave. You. You got the marsh in you too, didn't you? Let blue water John pour it into your ear. I told you. Fool. This goddamn Capitale you're looking for better be worth it. Only one thing for it now. You come this far, might as well finish it. Finish them. You know where his old gang are holed up. Well, from what I hear, they got all kinds of riches and trinkets. Not just your beloved Capitale. Don't forget. They owe a debt to the Italian. Don't get any ideas not paying it. You got enough enemies already. What'd I tell you about Blue Water John? Man's a liar. And a hell of a lot else, too. Held out on you. You butchered all them boys, and he was sitting on his stash the whole time. Still, you deal with the devil. What do you expect? Question is, how far along this path are you gonna go? If it was me, I'd walk away and never come back. But it ain't me. It's you. And like I said before, you're a fool. But the only reach out here belongs to me. It may surprise you to learn that I ain't a lover of the musical arts. A man like Blue Water John confirms me in this opinion. Former gang member, now he strums a guitar for a living. Surrounds himself with rumor and trickery. His former gang owes a debt to Signor Martelli. Their whereabouts are unknown. Extract them from him. Oh, and they got Capitale, too. You know what to do. <clears throat> mm. Tell me. Did Blue Water John tell you why he left his little gang? They were on the run, left him to die in the marsh. Mm. I only mention it to absolve you of any misguided sympathy you might feel for these people. They owe a debt to our employer, and they got Capitale that ain't theirs. I trust you'll extend them the same mercy as they show their own.
first time I mentioned the name of Blue Water John, did I not say he was full of trickery? Seems you did not pay sufficient attention. And now this man is making a mockery of you. Boasting how he used you to kill his former comrade. How he held out on you. Got a stash of his own. Capitale, too, most likely. Your reputation is in danger, my friend. If I was you, I'd go out of my way to save it. All right. Now, this here's a strange one. Feller goes by the name of Blue Water John. Musician. Plays the guitar. But that wasn't always so. He used to run with a gang. A gang that tried to double-cross our friend, Senor Martelli. Now, Martelli figures they owe him. And I figure there's Capitale bound up in this somewhere, if you look in the right places. Just... Be careful of this guitar man. Where it is, he ain't right. Both eyes open. You understand? So, you found out where Blue Water John's gang are holed up? Good. About time we paid him a visit. From what I hear, gonna be some rich pickings. And a good chance of finding some capitale along the way. But remember, there's a debt. And it ain't owed to you. It's owed to Martelli. I advise you pay him first. And take what's left. Who knows? Maybe old Blue Water's gonna write a song about you one day. <laughs> Well, I got good news and bad news, friend. Good news is I found us a lead on some more Capitale. Bad news is who's sitting on it. Blue Water John. Looks like he held out on you last time. Got a stash all of his own. I done some asking around. Seems everyone else reckons this thread ain't worth pulling. Folks say he deals in souls. Me? I don't much believe in souls. Question is, do you? How are you with music? Me? <laughs> it's in me blood. Voice of an angel. <laughs> uh, come from a long line of minstrels and balladeers, you know. My granddad went into battle against the British wheel and nothing but a bear on. Anyway, where was I? Oh, yeah, so there's this singer, Blue Water John. Plays the guitar, too. I heard him once or twice. Eh, he's not half bad. A little moody and brooding for my taste, but there's no denying the boy's got talent. Well, old Blue Water used to run with a gang. And that gang owes a debt to your friend with the greasy hair, Mr. Martelli. Now, I put two and two together here and smell some capitali at the bottom of this. Why don't you go pay old Johnny by a visit? See what you can drum out of him. Come, bloody Capitale. All right, now. You made the uh, acquaintance of Blue Water John, did you? <laughs> quite a fella, eh? And if the stories are to be believed, he's quite a pass behind him. Gang are supposed to have left him for dead in the marsh. He came out a week later. Different fella altogether. Made a deal, folks say. With who? <laughs> that they leave unsaid. Well, now, all that as may be. Now we know where his old gang are hiding now. Whatever they owe Martelli, they're still sitting on it. And if I were a betting man, which, uh, come to think of it, <laughs> I am, I'd wager there's a stash of Capitale there for the taking. Now, over to you, my friend. Over to you. Well, now, where does you went through Blue Water John's old gang like a hot knife through rotten butter? Bravo, I'd say. <laughs> sure, those bastards deserved it. <laughs> but listen, there's a twist in this tale. Looks like old Blue Water, he was holding out on you. Got a stash of his own. 
Honestly, the people in this country, two-faced, silver-tongued, honey-voiced deceivers as likely to sing your lullaby as slit your throat. <laughs> no wonder I bloody love it here. <laughs> anyway, last I heard, Johnsy was skulking around the gypsy camp outside Rhodes. I'm sure he'd be thrilled to see you. Hand over his little stash of cash and capitali out of sheer congeniality. Just try not to kill him, all right? Be ashamed to put a bullet in that kind of 